Good morning. Here we are at Golden Pond with our Golden Pan cooking show. And we're going to make antipasto today. And in my nationality, when you invited somebody over for the dinner that you wanted to impress, you made an antipasto. And an antipasto is not anything cooked, but it's a combination of so many things, which I'll explain about a little later. We're going to dice the peppers and the cukes, and we're going to have tomatoes, Vidalia onions, lettuce, cabbage, uh, a little bit of garlic, and we're going to mix it all together with a nice vinaigrette with extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, and uh, the squeezings of a half a lemon. And then we will be having a bunch of Italian cold cuts, salami, mortadella, prosciutto, boiled ham, boiled ham, and we're going to cut it up and mix it in with the salad, with the dressing, and then we're going to make garlic bread, and we'll show you how to do that. Rino, should we be able to start the oven now? Should we warm up the oven? It only takes a minute. All we need is on broil. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so let's get started. Do you know, you recognize her? Sometimes. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you, my friend? Good. Make us something good. Yes. All right. <laughs> you, what are you making? Did you have your pasta I haven't had it yet. It's in the oh freezer. Oh my God. I know. I gave her pasta a week ago. She hasn't eaten. No, it's in the freezer. For Can special you imagine that? Okay. <laughs> All right. I love the ingredients. Whatever you Yeah. Uh, where's the. Oh, that big bowl. Big bowl right here. Okay. okay. Now, what I want you to do, you and uh, Lisa, I want you to just cut a garlic in half, okay. and I want you to rub it as hard as you can all over the inside of this bowl. Okay. So, okay. Reno, what am I supposed to do with the garlic? Cut, what? It, cut, what? It, cut, it, cut, cut it this way. Cut it this way? Yeah, cross it. Now you take it okay. and rub it as much as you can wow. all over the place. Okay, Lisa. And you'll get the flavor of garlic, but you won't get the garlic. Okay? Oh, nice. So there's that's a nice little trick. Garlic in there. That's a nice Act little trick. Actually, that should be done in a wooden bowl. In a wooden it, bowl. It absorbs more of the garlic. Okay. Very nice. And Lisa, so you seasoned. actually... It is seasoned. And you went to culinary school, didn't I you, did. Lisa? I went to culinary high school. What did you... What was your favorite thing to make in high school for culinary? My favorite... Actually, I like the cake decorating part of it. That was my favorite part. I did a lot of cakes for... Um, we had the tea room. Uh, you can throw and, uh, that away and we get, made a, get another half Wedding cakes and birthday cakes and um, specialty pastries, and that was my favorite part of it. Wow. You should pick that all up now okay. and use another one, a fresh one. All right, I'll get you a fresh one. Though, though garlic gives a strong flavor, if you rub it on the inside of the bowl or the cup that you're going to use, it, you'll get the flavor from the garlic, but you won't get that strong taste. And you'll be happy that you did it. Well, Reno, that's a great tip. Okay. All right, now what, Reno? Uh, okay. Uh, you cut, oh, we gotta cut, gotta cut the onion. Okay, Lisa, why don't you cut the onion on here? And then I can cut the tomatoes? How does that sound? Yes, I'll show you how you to cut it. Do you want me to slice because... it or dice it, Reno? No, no, just. You slide it this way. All right, we're going to slide this just a little bit. Okay. I'll tell you, I don't know. My grandmother growing up had, had two kitchens. Did you have two kitchens? We had, yeah. We you had have two. one in the basement. Does anybody else remember that? Yeah, we had one. One, one real we... cooking kitchen in the basement in the Bronx, and then we had our serving kitchen upstairs where everybody ate. So tell me how we're gonna cut these. Okay. Let's see, we got another knife over there? Yeah, we got another knife right here. All right, if that one's not good, we'll grab another one. Do you want me to slice this onion or dice no, it? No, let me do it. Let me show you what I want done. Now, I want you about, about that much, all the way around and then separate it as you put it in the bowl, okay? Okay. 
So a whole onion or a half an onion? Uh, I think a, a whole onion would be good. This one might be better. This one. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Just take this out. We don't want to. Okay. Right. And then about that thick. And okay. don't squash it because we want as much of the tomato intact so it still looks like a tomato when, this, when we eat it. <laughs> uh, how many tomatoes do you want me to, to cut up? Uh, we'll start with about three. Okay, we'll start with about three. You can dump it. <laughs> Okay. Right in there. Can Oops. you reach this? Yep. So Reno, how big of a crowd is this antipasto going to feed? <sighs> so Reno, this can be an appetizer or a meal. We have in my house we have had this for a meal many, many times. With garlic bread, I mean uh, if it comes out the way I'm thinking it will, you'll say, this is good. <laughs> is this enough tomato? That's a uh, no. <laughs> that yes. is a okay, I'll do another tomato. So Dump it in there. Dump it in there? Okay. Sure. Great. It, it, the smell of this is unbelievable. If you could be here just with the garlic and the onions, um, and we're, we're filming this in... July, so tomatoes are at their peak and it's absolutely beautiful. The color and the feel of these tomatoes. So Reno, what did you just do? You just put the rest of the cucumbers in there? Yes, I did. Okay, so I'm gonna put these tomatoes in here as well. Look at that. I think it needs another tomato. Another tomato, okay. This is no good. What's your favorite kind of lettuce to use for this? I use uh, escarole. Escarole, okay. I remember growing up, escarole soup was a big thing in my house. I still use escarole in my soup. Yeah. Do you know many people in Milford? I don't, actually. I know a couple. Do you know the Marcellos? No, I don't. They used to own the uh, Gloria chain. He raises escarole, and every year, he brings me a bushel full of escarole heads. Some of them are that big. Are you kidding me? No, and I cook it and freeze it. That's and amazing. I use it in my soups, I use it in ravioli. All right. I'll come on this side, Lisa. Why don't you come in and see so we, we don't make a mistake when we'll yeah. make it for our family. Yeah. You try to keep it. Everything about the same size that goes in there. We have two bigger tomatoes we can't help, but... So better, all the, the better tomatoes are grape tomatoes, right, for oh, this? Yeah, it makes a prettier presentation because you turn them upside down and put them in, around the bowl and it looks Beautiful, pretty. okay. Okay. All right, so what next? So we got... Uh, so all right. finish the lettuce? Uh, no, we got to do all the letters. Yeah. Go ahead, somebody. All right, so cut it this way, right? We're gonna. We have some extra virgin olive oil with a half a pound of butter, and we got salt and pepper in here. Now we're gonna add parsley, basil, and garlic powder. Okay. How much, Reno? You know, just like a little shaky shake? Uh, you're too much in a hurry. You don't think cook like that. I'm going to fire you. <laughs> no, you have years of wisdom and experience in the kitchen. Well, I'm glad you actually added more garlic. Um, even after I dumped it yeah, in Yeah, only I didn't know how much you dumped in. Well, I guess we'll smell like garlic today. <laughs> hey. You know, can I put this lettuce in the bowl now? Yes, please. 
All right. So we've got the garlic. We've got, that's the parsley? This is parsley. All right. I'm not going to touch any more spices. No, no. You, you have to learn. <laughs> you have to learn. She likes spicy food. I do. That's a spicy meatball. That is going to be very garlicky garlic. <laughs> All right, now do you ever use fresh herbs or is it better to use dried herbs when we're doing this? Fresh herbs are a whole lot better than... Okay, uh, but so if you have it, use it. If you don't... You don't. You okay. don't. Okay. Now, I want... Um, let me see what else goes in there. There's some salt and pepper. Do we need that or no? Not for this. Oh, we need salt and pepper. Okay. We didn't put any salt, did we? No. I think um, I, yes, we did. I think we did. Oh. We did put salt okay, and put, pepper. put that on the oven. Okay. I mean on the, on stove. the stove. Okay. Small burner. How's that? On low? Uh, we're getting rid of her. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hi, Robin. Hello, uh, Okay. So, let's take uh, a, a snapshot for Chris, shall we, Reno? Smile sure. on the camera. Over here, Reno. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, this... Can gonna... I cut this up, Reno? Yes, do that. Now, do I cut it the same as the lettuce? Same way. Oh, God, that look... Don't that look pretty? Cut these ends off and throw it away. Good. Too small. Too small? How's that, better? That's much better. You don't mind if I correct you? No, that's how we're no, going to learn. Schooling. Okay. You're schooling us. <laughs> Cut that up good. How's that, Reno? Dump it in here. That is the most beautiful salad I've seen in years. It, it's going to taste even better. I bet it is. You know, Reno, I think, I think you point out an important life lesson. No hurry. You, you... Right? Yeah. There's an old Italian saying that goes, he got chick funny if you if you're, if you're uh, got chick, I mean, if you're chick out. In other words, uh, a, blind, a... a blind cat makes blind kids. <laughs> <laughs> Before Jane gets fired, I have to get some of this. Yeah, what was I saying? Reno, uh -oh. I was going to ask you, have you ever used lemon to clean your cutting boards? No, I haven't. No. In school, we used to cut them in half, and, and it would get rid of, if you wanted to um, get the garlic smell out of your cutting boards, you could use a lemon See? to rub across. See? I learned something. See that? Cutting board. Wow. Like wood. The student becomes the teacher. <laughs> uh, How does that look? Well, the looks don't cut. I want that to taste. Okay, I'll get you a spoon. Hold on one second. Lisa, thank you. <sighs> Thank you. We need some. Uh, what do we need? Vinegar. Vinegar. Okay. I got I got some wine vinegar here, right, right here. Right there. Okay. All right. So let's put that over here. And just stir it in. Yeah. Does it have to be back on the heat, or no? It's okay for now. Can you get another spoon, please? Thank you, Lisa. Mm. That looks beautiful, I have to say. I bet you could even put this vinaigrette like in a pasta, and in a cold pasta salad. Sure. Much better. Okay. Much better. Now, it's not a bowl for the vinaigrette. Okay. I have some... For my birthday, somebody gave me a gallon of... Extra virgin olive oil. Wow, for your birthday. 
What a yeah. nice birthday present. Yeah, because he knows he'll get food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Reno, vinaigrette time. How do we do it? Put in all that. All of this? Yeah. Do you think this is about a cup of olive oil? Look at the color on that. That's beautiful. They also gave me a quart of Oliva Olio Nuovo from Sicily. It is as dark as green grass. Wow. It goes $40 a quart. Somebody else gave me a quart for my birthday. Wow. When was your birthday? Uh, Wednesday. This past Wednesday? Yeah. Wow. Buon compleanno. Grazie. There you go. <laughs> okay. How old were you, Reno? Can we ask? 90. 20 any I? 90. No 90. 90. 90. Wow. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay. So we've got the vinaigrette bowl. We've got our beautiful olive oil in here. What do we add to this? Uh, cut a lemon in half. This way? Yeah. Squeeze in there. What about the pits? When you squeeze a lemon in or something, you squeeze upside down so that the seeds don't go in. Look at that. I love all these cooking tips, you know. And remember, I went to second year of high school. So Did you really? That's as far as I got. Then I went to World War II and... Uh, you know, here's the other lemon. No, nope, we don't need nope. this half a lemon. I don't know yet. Uh, okay, so we've got lemon and olive oil. Just a drop of balsamic vinegar. Okay. Can I? May I? There we go. I want to make sure. Oh, yeah. So good. Okay. Just a drop. All right. Just Plenty. a drop. I'm right, sorry. You try your hands on that. So why did you just do that? Why did you taste it? Because sometimes it goes bad like wine. Well, that's about six months old, and I've used it. I want to make sure that it hasn't gone bad. Okay. All right. Good. All right. So we can uh, mix this up. I'll mix it up. Uh, that's beautiful. No, I use a whisk. I know. But Lisa has the only whisk. You can have it. Okay. You gotta no, you gotta whisk it really briskly. Yeah, that, that's why it's called whisk. It's briskly. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Well, I can see the difference in the color when I whisk it briskly. Yeah, absolutely. So again, we've just got olive oil, some really nice olive oil. We've got balsamic vinegar. We've yeah. got a half a lemon juice. Yeah. Now we need salt and pepper. Now we need salt and pepper. <clears throat> Okay. Thanks, ma'am. <laughs> awesome. Wow, that's a beautiful color. All right, Chef Reno, you, I made you the probably, second batch. You probably don't know, but we don't need color. We don't need color. No, we don't eat color. We don't eat color. Okay. Do you want to try this, Reno? This is the second batch. I'll Tell me if it needs anything. I'll bet it's better than Paris. It's probably better than mine is right. Don't contaminate that, it. That might be okay. nice. That might be just right. Okay. Okay. Mix that with the, mix that with this one here. Okay. Now <clears> you <throat> want to test this one, right? Yeah, I do. All right. I give you that teaspoon. Yeah. Okay. Damn, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's get on the cold cuts. <clears throat> we're, we're now going to cut this up in like inch and a half pieces. We're going to add this, it. Reno? Huh? What's that? That's prosciutto. Prosciutto, and this is? Hot copa. Hot copa, this is provolone. Provolone, a boiled ham, salami, and mortadella. Nice. <laughs> when you cut this, saw it, okay? Okay. Like that? No, no. You know what the 
I think um, we should probably test it to see if it's poisonous. All right. It's not poisonous. Take it, take oh, it are apart. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. You might have to test it. Well, what about... The, Wait a second, you know... What about the photographer? Let's, let's have the tiebreaker. What, is it poisonous oh. or not poisonous? No, I think that's just fine. Okay. So, Jen, will your kids eat something like this? You know what? A couple, my, my older two will eat something like this. My, my, my husband would love something like this. Hold it. Okay. All right. What about your kids? Um, two of my kids would eat something like this, and the other two wouldn't. Between Lisa and I, we have seven children. We have a lot of babies. We do. They're not babies anymore, are they? Did you ever try salami with eggs? Salami with eggs? No. Uh, you ever no. fry salami? Salami no, just like this, say. and then scrambled eggs into it. Really? Oh. It's probably delicious. It's like ham yeah. and eggs, but Italian Make, style. Makes a rabbit hug a bear. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be all right. Do your kids like to cook with you, Reno? My son is a great cook. In fact, he gave me a... Uh, hi. Hello. Hi, Mary. How are you? I'm good. Add it again, huh? Add it again. Good. Looks wonderful. So your son's a great cook? He really is. But he cooks, um, if it's not Italian, he won't cook it. Oh. He's, he's really from the old school. Okay, make uh, Should I cut three, three, three pieces, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. What can I help with? Slit the bread sideways, but don't chop it. Just slice down here? Do you yeah. want it together on one side or the whole entire thing? The whole entire thing. Uh, if you use that serrated knife, yeah. you... What do you think of that bread, Reno? Very good. They baked it fresh this morning. Oh, this is this uh, this is going to make great bread. I guess it is fresh. It is. So Lisa, don't throw the bag away. Okay. Because we're going to grease this up, and then you're going to put it back in the bag. Okay. Until we... Good. No, it ain't good yet. Okay. Okay. I want you to get... Get the little vinaigrette? The vinaigrette. Okay. Not the vinaigrette, the... Uh, this here. What do you call this? Uh, I don't know. Just a mixture? Yeah. Okay. Is... The special sauce. And get, uh, can I, I get this and put it on? Oh, no, no, I got a brush. I, oh, buy, okay. I brought I a brush. It. It's in one of the bowls. I Here think. we are. Okay. Let's now, see. Now I want you to paint that on both sides. And as you paint, I want you to mix. Okay. okay mix and paint. Mix and yeah. paint just so we get all the spices. Yeah. And I want you to paint the whole three of these. Okay. okay. All three loaves of bread. Got it. Okay. So mix and paint. You catch up pretty good. I don't hold on. Oh God, does that look good? That looks delicious. I'm hungry now. Lisa, can you smell yeah. this over I'm, here? I've done. Garlic, it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, there's one side done. Garlic. I do too, and it's so. You good. better, you better have enough to do three loaves of bread, or you're in trouble. Okay. Oh my gosh, the pressure's on, Reno. I gotta tell you, if you can't stand the heat, get out of Reno's kitchen. Because <laughs> this is a tough crowd in here. Oh. 
I'm going to dump this on, and yeah, we're going to arrange it now for her parents. Uh, even the people that don't like it will eat it. <laughs> that is unbelievable, Reno. That is a beautiful salad. Don't call this a salad. That's an antipasto. 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 <laughs> I'm here just in time. You are. <laughs> wow, look at Isn't that. Isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. What a work of art. Now, this cheese, I want you to put it on in a decorative manner. <laughs> this way, all the way around, really okay? It, it is unbelievable. A perfect About salad. that part of the Rena, we have an entire oh, cast of characters. <laughs> <laughs> that looks fantastic. <gasps> oh, that's the real deal. That is, that is the real, real deal. deal. I know a good antipasto when I see one. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. You know, a lot of women go in a shopping mall with their dog to attract men. If they go there with a bowl You're teaching just... Lisa how to catch a man. Is that what you're doing here? <laughs> See, Lisa, this is the way to a man's heart. This is it. Stomach. Okay. Gotcha, Reno. That's good. Yeah. Good. 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 You said, you said, Chris last? That was awful. Anybody need extra cheese? Enjoy. Anybody want extra cheese? 